Good evening guys, sorry about the delay um, A couple of things were going on there and then I um, had lost my reference picture so I just was looking for that um, before I start so sorry about that but I'm here now so CSI time uh, That's the right scraper. Yep. I am ready to go. Uh, move that out the way over there. Uh, yeah. Zoom in a little and move the camera. There we go. Right. I wish I had two monitors. Um, oh, actually, I can put my reference picture out now. Fix my printer. I will do that for the next stream. That'll make it easier to see. So, yeah, we're doing up the nose. Oh God, I'm still looking at this, and going, why did I choose a leopard? Um, because of all the spots. Leopards are covered in spots. Who knew that? And boy, are they going to be hard to do, especially on the head, because there's lots of small ones. The body's not so bad; they're bigger sort of patches. Um, but mm. right, well. I'm just studying fur direction. Okay. Oh, yes. And uh, I'm just going to do something, guys. Um, I am just going to modify the camera view that you're looking at at the moment like that all I've done is flip it left to right and the reason I flipped it left to right is it it's now looks like a mirror to me but it also works like a graphics tablet so when I point to the right side of my image that's what I see on screen um, as the right side of the image um, and that means I can do this like a graphics tablet I can work look at the screen and and position correctly down here uh, which means I can look at the screen and see an image as though I've got up and stood back a little bit a uh, different perspective which gives me um, some options while I'm working with this rather than you know reaching out getting up walking away I can actually just look up there and I can see things as though I'm standing at a slight distance. And right, so talking about that, I shall do some work down here around the mouth. Just like that. Does that show up? Not very much, does it? Mm. 
Now it's, it's quite um, it's a, obviously it's a really dark area that's not showing up on the camera too much you can just about see it there but it kind of in, per, in person here now it makes it look like his mouth is closed rather than a, a missing gap uh, I'm really tempted to do the eyebrows but I'm not going to do it just yet it's going to be about that wide I'm going to come up the nose a little so until we get to the bottom of, of certainly there okay Okay, this is a bit lighter then. I have to try and remember to keep making this random. I don't want to go in lines. I don't want lines to appear um, except where I want them. And sometimes if you're not random in doing things like this, you can actually create lines accidentally. Just by putting like all the dots in one place as you go across. Fluffy Twiglet, good evening indeed, Ma. Hello, Free. Hey, did you know that when you do a slash me, you don't get your um, your sword? Um, I indeed, I well. Yes, I hope it will be nice and quiet from trolls. I hope you guys aren't going to be nice and quiet. <laughs> uh, busy with us. Yeah, that's right. Free. Yes, exactly. That would be preferable. Uh, I've just spent... Uh, I'm a bit laid on because I rebooted... Well, my, my, my machine, which is now on Windows 10, it has this, this weird thing. It start when when it's installed software, the one an automatic update, which it does quite successfully at three thirty a.m. in the morning. If it wants to reboot, it doesn't, and it goes to sleep. It then keeps waking up the PC periodically to reboot it, but it never does. <laughs> so you put it to sleep, and five minutes later it wakes up. You put it to sleep, five minutes later it wakes up to do this reboot. And you've no indication of why it's starting up unless you know the hidden incantation to get it to, to tell you why it's it started up. And you see and then you see the reboot and it means obviously it want to reboot it. So I, I manually did that earlier today, which stopped it waking up. And now uh, and at that point I'd forgotten that I didn't have a link to my reference pictures. So I'd lost the one I was working with, particularly for this, as, as sort of an idea of the outlines. Oh no, Junior. Excuse me, guys. Um, so I had to go find that. Hello, Junior. Will you go on the floor for now? And come back later? Haha. <laughs> But uh, yeah, oh, no, I quite like well, quite like Windows 10. There's, there's only two things. One is that it doesn't do a reboot when it wants to reboot, and the second is you've got a a, a limit in the start menu of 512. I think he probably uh, does, but you'll notice he's got his back to you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
you know uh, uh, cats respond better to higher pitched voices than lower pitched voices it tends to be why they they like women and and they'll talk back to women quite often probably because i guess it resembles more of a, a, a cat voice because of the high frequency oh you found yourself an emoticon if you're going to sit there, I've got to move that ca Oh! Now then, you might have to do without a face cam, guys. I don't know if you saw what he just did, but I was faster. Aldel H, good evening. Are you going to go on the floor? Let me see if he'll go on the floor. Cause I'm, I'm, let, I'm going to make a, an attempt on... Uh, I'm, I'm taking my life into my own hands now. Come on, Junior. Come on. He's a good boy. Come on. Come on, there's a good boy. Leave all the wires alone. Can you go down there? Now I've just got to rearrange the studio because he pulled all the wires out. Now. He's not and always a cat that's easily dissuaded. And what he's just done is jump back on my computer, uh, which is at the end of the desk. So he could be making another reappearance very shortly. I uh, know I was faster. He did take a swipe at me. I went to get out to move the this cam and uh, which he was sort of wrapping himself around and he took a swipe at me but i was faster this time <laughs> i should have taken my gloves off before i picked him up because now i'm gonna have cat hairs all over the gloves but uh, i've probably upset him now he'll put, he probably won't come back for another week which is kind of a pity. I don't mind him sat on my knee, but um, obviously when I'm broadcasting, it's a bit difficult uh, to to both do the art and to have a cat sat on your knee. Um, if it sit quietly and didn't eat stroking, then it wouldn't be so bad. But um, he's coming back. Do you not like leopards? Is that it? Come on, have a go then. Come on, come and sit down. Come on, come here. Come on, on my knee. Come on, and come on. Stop wagging your tail. When he wags his tail, that's when you've got to watch out. Come on. You're undecided. They wag the tails when they're undecided. Yes, come on. Come on then. I know. It's all right. In some ways he's a considerate cat. He, he doesn't like sitting on your knee if you're wearing thin trousers. Don't know why. Well, you know. I guess it's I don't I don't know why he knows but but thick trousers on he's all right but thin trousers on he doesn't sit on many and of course thin trousers is where the claws go through are you going to settle down All he's after is a little bit of attention, a little bit of stroking, and somewhere to lay down. Not asking much, are you, Junior? <laughs> there you go. Not asking for much. Just a little bit of pussy cat. Pussy cat time. Okay, let me have a go at doing scraper board. I'm not sure which is the most interesting. <laughs> uh, 
It isn't easy. It isn't easy, Junior. Why can't you not come back after the stream? Yes, I'm still here. It's okay. He's now he's now looking up at me as they do through the tops, you know, of the glasses. That sort of um, sort of uh, uh, view where you you can't resist um, you can't resist stroking them or whatever it is that they're after. The hair just around here starts to get a little bit longer, so I'm just elongating the scratches a little bit just around that area as we get up towards here. And then it starts, we, we sort of lose the really short hairs um, just below the eyes, just about there, and then it goes into the normal longer fur. So probably around there. I'm doing that um, rubbing my stomach patting the head thing at the time at the moment here. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you've had it blocked again, or you've sorted it out and actually managed to get it ordered today? Uh, well, I hope so, Fluffy Twiggler. I hope so. I've had my um, uh, my card has, uh, over the past week. It's uh, the video has um, has failed to start twice. And um, occasionally I'm getting a video card reset, so I'm kind of wondering whether I ought to start thinking about buying a new one as well. But then it's going to be a case of trying to find a, um, a reference card so that I can actually get um, a water cooler for it. <laughs> uh, well, at least they, they watch Twitter and respond, which is something. I like it when, well, I don't like it, but I, I find it funny when they ring you up and they, and they go, over the past month, have you bought all these items? And you kind of go, I can't remember what I bought 10 minutes ago, because I've just ordered 50 things, so... Technology. Technology is good stuff, Fluffy Twiggler. You wouldn't be able to go to college, university, without technology.
My wife's like that. She doesn't like technology, but can I borrow your phone while you're out? And um, uh, I just need to get my email. And can you get email on yours? Because I mind us. <laughs> I tell you, I surprised her once when they, you know, um, they were, well, in theory, and they, they do to me. For the fraud, fraud protection they ring you up and um, say you know fraud protection you know check you know to check your whatever it is um, and uh, they, they I surprised them the last time because they rang up about it and I said okay can you tell me what my last transaction is and I said no they said no so well you're ringing me up saying your Barclay card Prove your Barclay card. Tell me what my last transaction was. Then I'll believe your Barclay card because there's only two people know. Well, three people I know that. The company I bought it from, me, and your Barclay card. So prove who you are. And they wouldn't. So I said, fine, I'll ring you back then. <laughs> Which surprised them. SVMS 500, good evening, hello. It's really weird because pay, yeah. You, well, I mean, you, mm, I was about to say they, the generally speaking, they they say you know anything like that is down to PayPal. They don't, uh, you know, they uh, they do all the fraud protection for you if you use PayPal in theory. <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. I actually do have one on order. Um, for free to wiggle it. Um, it, it well, it, on order. No, it was a Kickstarter I backed, but it turned. It got a bit complicated. It wasn't a Kickstarter in the end, but uh, I, I effectively backed a Kickstarter. Um, so, I, uh, there is a there is a train uh, pending, shall we say, uh, delivery which is uh, on schedule um, but it's in end scale so um, I was about to say it's small it's not tiny and it's not it, it's uh, it's one of the pendolinos and it's I think I've got seven carriages so it means it's about three feet long but uh, that was actually done about mm, six eight months ago it wasn't delayed it's on time actually I have had stuff uh, delayed that you know that way and yeah. Kickstarter I've done a few Kickstarters not many and uh, the, the the good ones on Kickstarter if there is a delay they tell you before they start you know uh, quickly shall we say and they keep you up to date and I don't mind that um, there's been one or two shall I say that I wouldn't back again <laughs> blimey it's not English then the Pendolinos aren't English no uh, they're f uh, German I think are they not is it, is it I've forgotten who the manufacturer is It might end up just being a shelf queen, S sitting on the shelf on a rail, probably on a green, you know, on a a display board uh, with some grass around it, and it, it might stay like that. But um, uh, you know, it's, it's, as I've mentioned before, one of the things I want to do when I get the new studio uh, in my office, I should have enough space in there for a train layout. And so um, that that train would be the first one, shall we say? Uh, 
Um, so you uh, you might get to see sort of layouts and models and buildings built on the stream as well. <laughs> uh, it, it, I mean, it's. It, I mean, it is it, it is true. Um, part of my job, I've worked with some of the train operating companies and I used to sell stuff to the communications to them and uh, you know leaf leave you know leaves on the line when you think you've got a, a 30 ton locomotive and it it's pulling something like a 150 ton train and uh, yeah you know, the um, the total contact, the, the total traction surface of, of, of putting all that horsepower down, on, and I've forgotten what it is, there's something ridiculous, down on the rails. So you're talking about, I think the things like the Pendolino, uh, there's, there's two, two drive sets with six wheels in each set. So you've got, you've got 24 wheels and the, to the total drive surface on those wheels is about the size of 250p pieces each on each wheel and you're putting all that power to in something like 150 tons at anything up to 135 miles per hour it's kind of amazing and you kind of think um you, you kind of think a leaves wouldn't survive because if you put a penny on the rails it comes out flat um, and you can feel it in the train when it runs over but that's a different matter um but it's kind of amazing you think uh, just how much what it what it is is they lose traction and it's it's not specifically the fact that they lose traction to get the thing moving it's they lose braking distance it's the equivalent of a car on ice uh because the the um the the leaf if there's enough leaf build up it gets obviously it's on the rail tops it gets between the wheels and the the um the rail and it, it literally acts like oil and the thing just doesn't stop even though you know it's got to build up a bit because it, it because of the train has train brakes which means every carriage is it has brakes on it but ultimately they can it can do things like triple the triple or even quadruple the stopping distance um and that may effectively that means that they can only run a quarter of the number of trains because they have to slow them down so they can stop for the signals. So there you are. Something else you didn't know. You learn everything when you come on this stream. So how do I do that? That's just sort of yeah, it's just sort of. there are stuff to resolve it I mean quite <laughs> the um, you don't see them so often on the main lines but effectively what they do is they run a train uh, a track cleaner down there <laughs> which um, effectively is is a big brush <laughs> and this week the rails but um, it's um, they um, I mean, great big piles. They just run a snowplow through, but uh, literally, it's um, it's that. But you know, you if you're sweeping the rails, and then you can't run a you can't run them at 140 miles an hour. Um, they run relatively slowly, uh, and that that in itself upsets the um, the schedules. And you've got this thing, which is that the train operating companies and the track operator, who are different companies. 
and there's you know there's penalties left right and center going backwards and forwards and ah uh, dear Aldel H, good evening. And Fear Reaper 7, good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not, I've, I've never seen one myself, actually, Fear. Um, I, I know it's kind of like a big... Same thing you see on roads with a great big rotary sweeper. Um, hey, Fear, um, you, ought to, uh, you ought to be in at the start or the end of a stream... Um, one of these days, uh, Fear Reaper, you might see something you recognise. you recognize uh, I, I am just going to uh, do something for uh, to to to, rem to um, prompt fear reaper's memory I'm not going away Hopefully that helped. And yes, we've had a visit from Junior. We're now talking about full-size train sets. And you know, he, uh, another fun fact, do you know that they actually do, in the railway industry, call them train sets? So your Pendolino, your 125 Express, the 225s, uh, they call them train sets. <laughs> There's a, a fun fact for you. Yes, I got it to work, and there's the other one is at the stream end as well. So thank you very much, Fear Reaper. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, well, I was going to say I quite like the measurement trains. Um, they, um, they're, they're kind of an when you, the insides of them are kind of amazing because they've got, they've got cameras. GPS locators, um, all sorts of other things going on, and they laser scan the track as well, all the way around. So they do like a 360 degree slice laser scan, and they run this thing at something like 140 miles an hour, and it finds all sorts of stuff. Yeah, you know, it will find loose sleepers. It'll find um, you know a rail that's starting to wear, uh, you know a tunnel wall that's you know leaves that are trees that are overhanging the and all this sort of stuff, amazing technology and that thing you know it that they run that of the whole rail network well not every night but the thing is out all night every night going over the whole network uh, amazing thing uh, I want to turn this around I've got still got junior on me knee and he's putting his he keeps putting his paw on my arm that's another one of his little uh, things when he's laid on you, he, if he, if he can, he'll put an, he'll put his paw on. He'll just put it on your hand or your arm, and he'll just leave it there. It's not it's not resting on it or anything like that. It's just like a you just like you put a um, wife or a girlfriend or husband boyfriend. You just put a hand on their arm. You know, it's, it just sits like that.
Wow, that looks weird when it's upside down. So that's the central point of the fur around there. I've kind of cheated a little bit because there should be two, but... Yeah. He is indeed, he's branching out, he's free. Trying all sorts of new things. I'll give him a chance to answer, but otherwise I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> right, so I guess we can put some scratches in down this side here. Yep, and since Moobot's just um, just mentioned it, I'm just going to um, keep occasionally remind people of the um, the advert that's running across the top of the screen, and Moobot's doing it for me as well. <laughs> quite dark and it gets a bit bright just around there just as we get curled over and the first starting to go sort of that way hmm. The leopard is gear. Yeah, fear is not only doing oil painting, you know, actual oil painting, not none of this acrylic rubbish. He's actually doing the old master stuff with oils. Well, sort of like the old master stuff with oils. He's not mixing it himself or anything, but so, you know, he's not, he's not chewing rocks to make pigment like they used to do and that sort of stuff, but... That, but not only that, he's actually broadcasting some games, you know, those funny weird things that people play occasionally. Like spin tyres and... Have you updated your KSP yet, uh, Free? Just Jessup, good evening, welcome! Uh, the Leopard is getting better and better every time I see it. That implies that you don't watch my streams. You just come in and disappear. Na na na, Junior. Ah. I just got hold of that in time. Would you... I think he just answered that question. He's back. No, he never went away. He's just gone and laid on in front of me. He's, he's wagging his tail. I dared not. I dare not pick up that camera. Hey, you going to let me move that camera, Junior? Hmm? If I. Hmm? Okay. No, guys. <laughs> he's not going to let me move that camera. Uh, so what I'll do, because at the moment obviously it's pointing in a weird direction. I'll just turn that camera off for the minute because it's um, it's a bit pointless it being on. Uh, no. <laughs> this, this stuff isn't that cheap, uh, Aldel H. I don't know. It's not expensive, but it's not cheap, if you know what I mean. I don't really want to let him just play with it. Yeah, he's, he is, does not like this thing being in front of him. 
Yeah, you're hearing him. That's not a meow. That's a, that's a warning sound. Cute. Yeah, until until all um, five claws and one paw hit you. Only thing is with claws, they don't stop at the surface of your skin. They go a little, they go a little bit further. And they're shaped so that when he pulls, they automatically dig further. That's the cat shape of claws. They're curved so that as they rake back, the claws dig in further. All right, so, well, at least he's not on me If He's going to sit quietly there. You've lost the face cam, I'm afraid, but... Um... <laughs> Still cute. Yeah, you say that just, Jessup, until, until you actually have it happen to you. Then cute is the last thing you're thinking of at the time. Yeah, small for me. <laughs> That's about right for you. They, they are as well sometimes. They, they are as sharp. Yes, your claws are. And they're sneakier cats, of course, because they keep them hidden. <laughs> Uh, kind of the worst one though is if you get a, the well when the cat's laid on your knee. Um, I'm wearing shorts at the moment, so you know you, you lay on like it's actually the female cat that does it more than junior, but they lay on your knee, and they'll sort of turn around and move. And if they slip off, as they do from time to time, what they do is they just dig all claws in. And can you imagine a five kilogram cat hanging by claws from your leg? And that's in your skin. And yeah, I say five kilogram cat. <laughs> I should get with some of this. Uh, so we've got a light area coming up there, and then uh, that's that's that. Uh, yeah, kind of around there. It's more of a tattoo thing rather than art, uh, just Jessup, but yeah, what well, tattoos are about, but yeah, for you know, just the feeling. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They won't let you lift them off. <laughs> the the only way you get <laughs> the only way you get them off on that situation. Because if you try and lift them, the struggle against you lifting them is to get the back feet supported so they can um, they can stand off of their own accord.
Um, I, I am breaking my own sort of imposed uh, rule that I should be doing this in the fur direction, just starting from the outside and working in. Um, but I kind of need to outline the eyes in some way just to give me some bit more landmarks in the face. Um, now quite luckily in some ways the fur is, when you look at reference picture, the fur around the eyes is really tight. Um, and so I can I can probably get away with this without it looking too odd. Mm. Is it there where I show any connection? In a way, actually, it is, but it isn't just yet. Uh, this the hanging off you isn't. But when they um, if they're on the if 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 a cat's late, well on you full stop, and it, it, what they they'll do is they'll put the pour on you and then they'll just dig the claws in like that so well it's almost like a massaging action I guess uh, we call it paddling so it's kind of like you know that sort of movement and they're actually digging the claws in and that that in in a way is a sign of affection because what they're doing is they're mimicking they're mimicking what they used to do to mother cats a to produce milk and B to get the mother cats to uh, to wash them so it, they feel really contented when they're doing that it's kind of um, it's kind of like triggering memory for the cat and if you stroke it at the same time you effectively you start bonding with the cat then because it starts to see you a little bit like a mother cat Yeah, I've never seen one do that. I, I, I'm aware that some do it. But I've never actually seen uh, seen any of ours do that. Yeah, with the Oka. Yeah. That would strike me as being a, as a little bit sort of uh, excitement, really. Yeah, it's kind of like a very fast um, flutter on the tail. Usually just sort of the um, the tip end, but... I need to get this other eye in roughly the same place. Thank you. I'll have my non-stick mat back. Yeah. Well, the drooling is the same thing. Yeah, free of course. Anticipation of food. Because of course that that would trigger the milk production. <laughs> If they're sneezing a lot, fear reaper, it may, they may well have, may well be eating a lot of grass. And now I've got to do the centre of the eye a little bit. I'm trying to work out if I've done those two eye eyes level. Not quite. Okay, that's going to need a bit of a, but a little bit of an adjustment.
Yeah, she eats a lot of grass. What um, what sometimes happens uh, when they eat the grass is they get it depends on what sort of, how much grass and what it is is they get little small bits it goes up the the no, the nasal passage at the back of the throat into the back of the nose and that's what's irritating them and that's that's the mucus that they they're generating uh, to get rid of it and then they sneeze it out it's kind of you know, ugh, but that's what's happening so. Usually grass, usually cats, they only tend to eat grass when they're not feeling too well. I don't know if it makes them sick on purpose or it's, it calms the stomach, I'm not sure. Yes, he's still there. Um, he's literally there. He was just washing himself. He's... Um, there he goes. <laughs> And they look all peaceful and calm and, you know, butter and melting don't go together around him. I still don't get, <laughs> get hold of that camera just yet. As you might not be. Uh, it's, um... I mean, they eat all sorts out there, so it could well be. Oh, it could just, as you say, she's getting getting old. It could well just be. Um, it's kind of like when you feel a little bit queasy. Sometimes the cats do that. Um, when they do that, they tend to eat grass. But um, they could just be, you know, just like eating grass. The the stuff that you've got to really watch, or trying to get them to avoid, if you can, is like pampas grass. Or grass that's quite um, quite rough bladed grass because um, that the, that if they get that in the nose, then it's it's quite hard for it to come out, and it generally needs an operation of some kind. Um, it sounds like a, a, a the a, the right word. It's something like that anyway. Alder H. Uh, the webcam's fine. It's just um, it's just now sat, you know, point. It's it's under uh, under Junior and it's pointing. At, hello. <laughs> you think that cat's uncomfortable with a cam underneath him? There's no way that cat's uncomfortable. Um, cats cats will not lay in uncomfortable positions, but he regularly will lay on these pliers uh, they, they they sit that way usually and he'll lay on them <laughs> uh, and other things so you know you find them you'll find it uh, like laying on a pencil on a glasses case laying on top of that and you know you go how on earth is that cat comfortable but it is obviously because the one thing you 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 you'll realise about cats is they like comfort. They'll go where it's comfortable, and if it's not, they'll move. And that's about the same side. Um, yeah, including me, <laughs> including including me, Aldo H. Okay, Fear Reaper. Good night. Where do your cats sleep? Anywhere they like, just Jessup, just like the grizzly bear. <laughs> um. Generally, they'll like to sleep on something, and they generally like to lay on something fairly high. They tend not to like to lay on the floor. Um, but uh, yeah, and the, they love boxes. So I mean, I mean, it's it's a it's a 
it's a predator avoidance thing so they don't like laying on the floor in the open they like against a wall in a box because that protects side, their sides um, or they'll get high up so they the predators will be underneath them so they do like to lie up there but um, it, it's quite fun because they'll where one cat finds uh, juniors here at the moment probably in about a week's time he'll decide to move on to somewhere else and we'll probably get Felix laid there for a while on an evening because this is where Junior sleeps on a night at the moment and then uh, Cleo will probably come and do the same thing no not in don't let them in the bed they'll sometimes come and sleep on the bed at the foot but they generally don't like being on the bed because you move around and um, that disturbs the cat How wide is this? Oh, that's quite wide. <laughs> yeah, that's true for me. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think cats have this ability to change localised gravity. Um, you know, because if, if they are on a bed um, and they don't want to move, uh, as, you know, as Free says, they'll take it up. You can't, you can't move them in the bed and they, they, you know, they take the cover with them. Um, and if you try and lift them off, you'll find they're really, really, really heavy. If a cat doesn't want to move, I think it sort of, you know, increases the localised gravity around it. <laughs> yeah well yeah he is black so yeah that seems that seems appropriate in more ways than one of the, <laughs> we one of our one of our earlier cats used to eat anything whatever you put down would disappear so the portable black hole this seems like quite a good description <laughs> Uh, it can be funny what they eat cats as well. We had um, our first two cats, which were kittens when we got them. Um, 
Maui and Mindy. And um, <laughs> back then we used to have fish and chips a lot, so we used to buy the cats fish uh, from the chip shop. And um, Maui would always have the fish, and Mindy would always have the batter. And they wouldn't eat. eat you know, they, they didn't, if you like, they didn't like each other's things. So one fish did did well for it. So Mindy would eat the batter, and literally, if it was on the fish, she'd eat the batter off the fish and leave the fish. And uh, Maui would do the do the opposite. Uh, why Maui? Actually, it's M U M A U I. Um, after the Hawaiian island. And the female female was called Mindy because we didn't call the male Mork. Now, Fee might remember that reference. You youngsters probably what? No, so Maui as opposed to Meowie. <laughs> well, that was. Uh, do you remember? It was a little while. It was a little while ago now. But we had um, Junior at one point came onto the stream one day, and I had a glass of water sat next to me, and he just stuck his head in it and started drinking. Thought, well, that's the cat's water now. I'm only trying to move the camera, Junior, just to one side. I know it's under your tummy, and you usually like your head stroked at the same time. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. I wonder, I, the thought just crossed my mind then, I, was, uh, I wonder how um, masking fluid would work on this surface. That would make doing the black dots, or the black areas, a lot easier. I'm trying to think, I'm sure one of our cats used to like... Um, uh, beer as well. He never got very many, or uh, very much, because uh, it's not a good thing for cats. But cats are funny though when they get their heads wedged in something. Yeah, it's um, we had the tortoise. Aye, and if those things bite as well, and they hurt when they bite. Um, but at least you can catch them. <laughs> You're amazed at the shadow effect. In some ways, it's like working with a pencil, um, LDLH, So, but just in reverse. So I'm I'm using a white pencil rather than a um, a black one. But same sort of idea. Yeah, well, I was kind of thinking whether it would pull the ink off uh, free. Because, I mean, it, wor it works okay on paper. Um, on sort of, you know, thick paper, you know, like um, 
watercolour paper. So I kind of, I was kind of wondering whether it would pull the um, pull the black ink off. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true, just Jessup. It's a bit of the, the little miniature tether pins there in free. <laughs> I'm contemplating, I am contemplating whether to actually try and do an eye. Because that's the, that's the make or break. The balloon would be popped in about ten seconds flat. L D H with uh, if you tried that with some with our cats especially. Uh, Cleo might not mind, but could you imagine him trying to get through a cat door? <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Mind you, it's surprising how small cats are. If you ever see one absolutely soaking wet, they are about half the size you think they actually are. I think it was Maui. It might, might have been Felix, I can't remember. It fell in the bath one day, a bath full of water. And they, they, you know, when they, they came out, it was um, li oh, oh, it literally looked half the size. Right, I am actually working on the eye. I don't know if this is a good idea. 
at this point, but I'm doing it. No, I don't think any of ours like would like it. They, they, um, we did have a cat that didn't mind getting wet. In fact, one of the one of the things you used to do to um, to amuse him was to turn the one of the bathroom sink taps on the cold tap, just so it dripped a little bit, and it'd sit there for ages. Uh, batting at the drops or trying to catch them with his mouth um, or just generally playing with the water and he'd it, it, it end up sat in you know uh, a, a pool of water basically and he'd be quite happy <laughs> his back end's completely soaked uh, and he's just still there playing with the water it used to be um... <laughs> yeah it is somewhat I would not. Uh, uh, they they go. They, they immediately go quiet as well. Of uh, hours have done when they've got wet like that. They just go quiet because uh, they're at a disadvantage. So they don't want to. Um, don't want to attract predators. Iguanas like water though, don't they? Yeah, I think it's the light flashing or, or off the water or something that just attracts them. And I don't I don't think they actually mind it too much. Um, junior we don't try. Um, at all. As you've you've probably seen you know some of well you've seen some of the reasons why. Um, so we leave that up to the vet. <laughs> Uh, Cleo, yes, we don't have a problem with her. You just turn her over and she kind of objects a little bit, but you can get it done. Felix actually is the hard is, is the hard one because he, he doesn't like being held. He, he, anything that restricts him, he does not like at all. Uh, and he'll complain like mad. So in a basket, for example, he'll complain. You, you just hold him. You know, like stop him from, from doing anything. If he thinks he's restricting him, He'll just yowl and, and start scrabbling and trying to get away. So he's a little bit harder to uh, uh, to cut his nails, but he generally succeed. Mm. So Junior is busy washing again. And no, I'm not about to put him on screen at the moment because of what, where, what, how he's washing himself. Oh, I think the funny bit. It, w w all right, there you go. Um, it's when the, I don't know if you've seen a cat. Sometimes they sort of lay, and he's he's almost doing it now. He's sort of they sort of sit on their sit on their backs uh, and expose the tummy to wash the tummy. He's sort of laid on his side at the moment there, but he, he sometimes they sort of lay a bit like you'd lay, you know, in a in a lay down in a chair sort of, um, and only they do it to to wash the stomachs. But it's quite funny when you see them do it. So what I'm doing at the moment for the eyes is just lots of very thin lines on a radius from the pupil in the centre.
I take it the tails are quite sharp <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that the um, was that the uh, the fast chase three D or is that the um, the horror movie? I'm going to get you, uh, even though I'm going to to crawl around the place, but I'm still coming after you. Type of chase. I've got the camera back not only that he's holding it down for me hello <laughs> I really don't want to make a mistake with this pupil. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm doing very well, thank you very much, old LH. That's nice of you. <laughs> Okay then, just dress up. Don't want to see me, I don't mind. I'm not that vain that I want to see my picture on the feedback monitor, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> watch you see, my sense of humour means I'll sometimes take you seriously. Even when I know you're joking. Because I'm joking. Pupil is about there, but we've got a dark area anyway around here, so this again and since Moobot reminded me um, if we have anybody that's watching that isn't following then of course I'm going to encourage you to do so. After all, not only do you get to see me, you occasionally get to see Junior. And we talk all about all weird things like leaves and lines of trains and metaphysics and other weird subjects like iguanas and bearded dragons 
Well, I don't think we've had a conversation about them yet, but we probably will now. Well done, guns. <laughs> Old Hat 128. Good evening, welcome back. Nice to see you again. And Black Hole, that's true, Black Hole Cat. An example of one that she's in front of me because there's no way I'm trying to move that cat. <laughs> Uh, good evening, old hat again. You're, uh, you're tweaking my sense of humour. Um, okay. Uh, please can I tell you? Alright, so you want me to tell you. Alright. If you make a mistake with a scraper board like this, is there no way of correcting it? There you go, I've told you. <laughs> uh, sorry. I... I, I just, the w just wording, it just tickles me sometimes. Um, so you don't always get what you thought you meant. Uh, there are ways of correcting it. Um, LDLH is, is partially correct. You probably wouldn't use black paint, but what you would use is black ink. Well, there's two ways, really. One is black ink, but one of the things you have to remember is that you've scraped the surface. So even if you put black ink over it, the scrapes are still there. And that's a texture. Uh, you know, the, the texture otherwise is fairly smooth. This is, you know, it's not, it's not great, really coarse. But if you put black ink over it, you will still see the texture underneath in certain lights. So that really only works very well if you're going to scratch it out again. You know, to to make it lighter or something like that, because then that will overpower the the dark texture that's still showing um, the other way of correcting it is generally speaking well if you've if you've made a line in totally the wrong place 
the black ink's about the only way. If it's just a case of, oops, I made that a bit brighter, like here, for example, around the eye, let's say I didn't actually want it that bright. The other way of correcting it is, is to go, well, how bright it looks is relative to what's around it. It looks bright because it's black surrounding it. If I did a really broad white mark here, took a lot of material away, that would actually look quite dim. So one of the one of the tricks would be, uh, once the image was sort of roughed in, would be to make this look darker, I'd just make what's around it look lighter than it is. So I can, if I raise the tone of everything, say one or two levels, that would look darker. So it depends on what sort of... Um, uh, correcting you wanting to do. Uh, he didn't so much move it, uh, just Jessup, as get up and change his position, and um, and then it just sort of got kicked out of the way. That's not too bad for the eyelids, but I need a little bit more. Shade variation eyes, I, um, pup uh, irises. I need a little bit more shade variation. Oh no! Don't worry, <laughs> old hat. Yeah, it 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 happens especially with people um, whose language is n n well. It happens even with people whose native language is English. Um, just the word order. If you, if I, and I do sometimes on on purpose because I just find it funny, and it's just me finding it funny. If I read literally what somebody's put, and answer literally the question that they asked or what they asked isn't always what they thought they um they were actually asking it and it just amuses me it's it, it's um it's a bit like statements that you sometimes make like i cannot recommend this person highly enough that that actually mm, potentially has two meanings but i always read it as that means you cannot recommend this person at all um, because that's literally what it says. I cannot recommend them highly enough. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't say I can't. You know, they are the best thing since sliced bread. So it's, it's things like that sometimes. <laughs> he's not looking at you with a death stare, Je just Jessup. He's, he's staring at you with the with the look that says food. <laughs> yep, that was the intention. Uh, and I will do. I will do uh, do some more. And it's it's. There's not actually a line there. It's just dots are close enough together to make it look uh, that way. I'll probably do a couple more as well. Um. Yep, that's right. And people go, uh, "Can I ask a question?" I go, "You just did." Oh, can I ask you a question? Uh, yes, there's your answer. Bye. I, I actually got caught out like that the other day at work. Um, there was there was an abbreviation in in some text, and I I replied to the bloke saying, um, uh, "Do you know what this abbreviation is, please?" And his reply back was, "Yes, I do. Thank you very much for asking." <laughs> And, and I cracked up for a, a good ten or fifteen minutes. I was just, I just couldn't stop la uh, sort of laughing really at that. I got called out myself. Uh, I think I mentioned this on the stream a while ago, but uh, the the struggle then was actually to find a way of asking a question that was, please, will you tell me? 
what this abbreviation means. And, and I couldn't even say that because what that literally says is, please, will you tell me? Yes, I'll tell you, is the answer. Well, go on then, go on what? You know, <laughs> you can avoid it. And it was, uh, no, no old hat, it's all right. No, it wasn't. Not, a, not at all. No, usually, usually if I think somebody's being sarcastic, I'll either ignore the question or um, I will be extremely sarcastic back. It, it's like the people that come in in and to the chat and go, um, uh, you know, what what is it you're drawing? Well, apart from the fact I'm not drawing, you know, you've got that text there. <laughs> and of course, you've got the stream title, which is obviously just above the window, which says exactly what I'm drawing. So I do tend to go, hmm, what could I be drawing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I won't, I won't pull you up on, on things like that, uh, Alda LH, not unless it's really funny. Oh, yes, um, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the hardest things, old hat with text uh, interactions. It's same with email, is it's so easily misinterpreted because you can't, uh, you've got no body, body language, you've got no voice tone, uh, which can tell when, you know, t can tell you when somebody's attempting to be funny or, or sincere or vice versa so yeah no it's uh, it's it's easily misinterpreted and mm, to some extent I mean in a chat like this I can do it on purpose because you can tell hopefully that I'm I'm doing it on purpose but <laughs> uh, yeah Actually, well, I guess there's no, there's nothing to stop me actually putting a dirty, great, big fixed arrow on screen, uh, which I just sort of do the, you know, do the equivalent of, um, I don't know, turning that on and off, or, or you know, or, or I guess like the alerts do that just pop up, you know, I can just uh, point the big arrow at the thing on screen. I might do that actually, just Jessup. Thank you for the. Um, uh, for the uh, for that yeah great big error word hint that that could be quite funny. <laughs> Is that, yeah. <laughs> Is that cigarettes you're smoking? Yeah. Well, I've never smoked, but yeah. Um, that a lead on from that w would of course be the be the airplane quote wouldn't it which is uh, if they came out and said surely that's not a cigarette you're you're smoking of course the answer will be uh, no it's a chicken and don't call me Shirley <laughs> <laughs> That's not as bright as it looks.
that I should just almost suddenly have got rather wet and rounded looking. And it's amazing how just a little touch um, like a reflection really changes the look of something. Right. I am rather pleased. Oh, it's all right. God blimey, the board touched his paw a little bit. Okay, <laughs> bye bye, guys. Um, I have just noticed it's ten o'clock, and you know what that means? It means it's time for you streaming. Um. Yeah, they are, aren't they free? Just a little tiny touch. Um, is he going to let me? Uh, I might get away with it for a little while. Um, yes, unfortunately it's 10 o'clock. It's time free was streaming his... Um, actually, it's free. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm playing a game there, but are you actually going to be streaming tonight, Free, or are you having a night off? Um, spin tyres did look interesting. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, I'm going to, whilst there's an introductory offer on, I'm going to, uh, we've got a few people watching who may be regulars, and if you are, I apologise. But if you're not, um, that. Uh, the advert running at the top is for chainmail jewellery uh, on an Etsy store that I set up, uh, which hopefully uh, will help me pay for some art materials and things. So I encourage you to take a look and um, if you're interested, buy something. If you want something, encourage other people to buy you something or just pass it on. <laughs> some, yeah. Anybody that might be interested. Um, there's an introductory offer as well at the moment. It's an interest. It's an advert or scrolling text. It's a scroll. It's, it's an. It's a scrolling text advert. Um, you're not streaming tonight. Okay, never mind. Free. Well, I was going to say it'll save me hosting. The weird thing is, and I don't know what's doing it. Something keeps stopping the hosting because I don't I hosted you last night the night before and when I come to the my next stream it's not hosting you anymore so something's stopping it penguin song 05 how you love scratch boards um, I quite like them as well just five more minutes no not very well I'm gonna end up spending five minutes saying not really <laughs> old LH kind of don't really want to start the other eye which will be the next thing that I do because I'd want to finish it and uh, you know I do have work tomorrow and um, one or two other things to do um, including sort of get that on the um, on the on the uh, on the shop site which I may not end up doing <laughs> uh, but I made that last night that goes with that one. Well, it doesn't go with it, but I've got two other same. So I've got other things like that to do before I get to bed. And I still have to try and get my. I'm still trying to get my website up and uh, and running so that I can put, you know, photographs like this on on there and just explain more about various art forms and, you know, some of the pictures like the pyrography stuff and stuff like that. So I keep trying to do a bit each night, but it's um, after the stream and so I don't get very much time to do it before it's bedtime so I do um, I do really need to finish uh, it might do free seems odd though yeah um, I cannot recommend hosting highly now <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a good one um, 
So having having done the that advert, what I'm also going to say, of course, if we've got anybody that's that's watching and not hosting, not hosting. Well, yeah, you could be watching and not hosting. You know, please host me the next time I'm live. Um, but what I actually meant to say, not following, then I'm going to encourage you to do so. And I'm sure some of these other people would do do the same thing. But um, uh, you know, okay. There are times when you don't want to uh, to follow. That's all right. Um, if you'd like notifications, though, you can follow me on Twitter at Zeraganart. So my stream name, uh, easy enough to find. But if you really forget, you can come back later and have a look at the uh, the details under the stream window because it tells you there as well. Um, on the other hand, I don't know. A little H. On the other hand, uh, if you just want to try and catch me tomorrow, to borrow a saying from 3D Block here, the um, the professional artist, um, I start streaming from 8 p.m. UK time, 1900 hours GMT, or subtract about two hours from your local time now. That was eight o'clock. That's when I started. That, however, will not happen tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow night. Sorry. So the next stream is on Saturday. You see, if you followed me or followed me on Twitter, you would you you would get to know that without um, without needing to remember. You see, just like John forty one seventy nine has done there, so he'll get the he'll get the message from uh, from Twitch when I go live on Saturday. Thank you all. It's been great, great fun. <laughs> And I hope to see you all again in the studio on Saturday or, or further on in the weekend. And, and thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.